Good everyone, I'm back. It's Thursday, June 8th. Um, it's been 11 days since I was last here. It's gotten a lot warmer. Uh, you can see a bit of the snow or pretty much all of the snow is gone from those mountains. Um, what I'm hoping to do with the next four days I have out here is get the flooring put down, put up the end walls here and windows and a door in the front here, a double door. Um, if I'm able to also sheathe it, wrap it and put the siding on, that would be great. Um, if I happen to also get the siding stained, then that would be perfect. I consider that to be a complete win for the next four days. Uh, that would pretty much wrap up what I need to do here for the most part, a few little odd jobs. Interior is gonna be pretty bare bones because it's just gonna be a shed. Um, if you did wanna finish this out to be like a 400 square foot tiny house, you definitely could do that with probably another four days work. But um, yeah, gonna leave it as it is on the inside. It's gonna be for our off-grid solar setup. So I'm gonna have a solar array um, just on this side here. 14 and a half kilowatts is the panels I have so far, but they're not in the ground yet. Uh, it's gonna feed in, we're gonna have batteries and inverters in here, potentially up in the little loft area and uh, use the bottom for storage. So that's the plan. Uh, and starting with the flooring, let's get stuck into it. All right, now the issue doing it the way we've done it is that we didn't do the flooring first and then put the A's up on top of it. The A's are all one piece. So we're gonna end up with these gaps if we don't notch out the subfloor. So we're gonna go along, notch out 11 on each side of inch and a half by six and a half. And that would allow these to slide in all the way up against the rim joist there and completely block off that opening so that there's no chance for rodents or bugs, whatever to get up here. Um, we've got to get 10 of these put down. Um, so it's going to take a little longer because of these notches. But once we've done that, we can start on the walls. All right, so here's where we're at. Um, the floor's down and it's pretty windy. I wanna get one of these end walls up so that I can sleep in here tonight. And I don't really feel like sleeping in a triangular wind tunnel. So we wanna get it up, but I made a mistake and I used the two by fours for blocking instead of two by sixes, meaning I'm short several two by fours. Because this window, or sorry, this wall is gonna have a sliding window right here and then a pitch window in the top. Um, and so obviously I'm gonna need more two by fours to do the jack studs and the header board and everything like that. So um, what I'm gonna do is just make this wall as if there was no window, just to get me through the night. Um, and then I'll come through and just like toenail these jack studs so that I can make the window go in later on. Um, I'll have to do a trip into town and um, pick up some more two by fours and we'll go from there. It is now Friday morning, finished up the rest of the sheathing. I uh, haven't gone into town yet, so it'll be a little bit before I can finish off that wall, cut out the slots for all the, uh, the windows. I've started on the front side here, basically putting in these two uprights, two by sixes. They are going to be what the doors hinge off on each side. Um, this thing that my towel's hanging off right now, that rafter tie basically is where the loft's gonna go across. There's gonna be six of those. I'm just gonna do the end one here for now to finish up the support on this final A, and then I can start making the doors and cheating these sides. All right, so I didn't record it, but I went ahead and made this door on the left side. Um, I didn't record it mainly because I had no idea what I was doing. I was just kind of making up a method as I went along. It did work out all right. Um, I basically cut the plywood to the right shape. It wasn't perfect, but it was close as I could get from these measurements. Uh, and then I went ahead and cut these strips. Um, there are the pieces of plywood, same thickness, and put them around. Now, I didn't cut them to be the same dimensions that would fit the door perfectly, rather I cut them to be the dimensions that would fit the opening perfectly, meaning that any kind of little errors that I made 
in cutting the correct angles for the door or the correct spacing, just not having the right gap, they're made up for by having these pieces around the outside that are meant to fit. Um, and so that worked really well. It was just time consuming, um, but I'll go ahead and make the other one now. It's getting late, but um, my hope is to get this door on before nightfall, and then I'll have a enclosed place to sleep tonight. All right, so it's hard to say I've made a whole lot of progress on the A-frame today because I spent about six hours getting this well running with the well pump. Um, I was really enticed by the idea of having a nice cold shower tonight because it's been pretty hot, but looking at the state of this water, who knows how many years this well has been sitting here. It was drilled 22 years ago, and I don't know how long it's been since it pumped, but it looks pretty gross. Dogs seem to be enjoying it though. Um, but once I start running out of light or patience to keep cleaning out the filter, then we'll get back to the airframe. It's Sunday evening, wrapping it up. Didn't get it done, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Got the windows in, floor down, got the framing done for the end walls, but yeah, just couldn't quite get that siding on. Anyway, doors are on, still a little flimsy. Need to finish those off with some interior trim and just make them stronger with some two by fours on the inside. Inside, more solar panels, some stuff I'm leaving behind. This bottom door is white, oh, sorry, bottom window. The top one's pine, so I'll probably paint them both to match the roof um, and call that good. Little odd jobs like adding the rest of these rafter ties, so I've got a loft space. And then, um, yeah, doing the door. Still didn't put the rest of the screws in the ridge cap, so we will have to uh, do that again. But anyway, it's gonna be part three, and I'll catch you in that one, bye.